Hi guys, so it's here. I hope we're all having a really good day. So today is Are You Okay Day here in Australia. And um, since that I have been struggling for nearly two weeks, I want to let you all know how I've really been doing. So over the past couple of weeks, I personally have been very depressed. You know, with Father's Day, that was just this past weekend. It was a lot. I had to stay off of Facebook. I have to, you know, completely disengage in all the Father's Day activities because um, for our family, it's more harder than anything. Um, a lot of us have been abused. We've been through domestic violence. We've been through assaults. And um, it's one of those days that I personally find a joke. And when I commented on one of the Are You Okay Day posts, before Father's Day, I got in a lot of shit with two people who didn't necessarily understand how I was feeling. And even though I went in great detail on that post, they still said, oh, I was offended. I was rude, which is their opinion. They're allowed to have it. But there's the some people who don't really properly educate themselves when it comes to, you know what a child would go through. I went through it when I was only six weeks old until I was 13, so you can have so many years of, you know, so much emotional abuse that it can really rid of you, and I'm 26, and it still is riddling me, and as I have a realization over the last 24 hours, I've realized that I'm slowly in losing myself, a little bit more and I like to always address this because when I recognize something I address it and then I go away and I work on it and that's what I want to do for you all is to say look I recognize that I've been lashing out I've acknowledged that I've been emotionally bagging on so many you know um um, Discord servers that it became an issue on one of my favorite discords that I love to be a part of and I now have to distance myself away for a while because I now am beginning to recognize that how I used to act when no one was really there for me I'm re reusing that again as a coping mechanism which is not okay it's not okay regardless but i do thank my friend who let me know and even though i was a bit offended yesterday and i had a bit of a cry session but i get it that i'm losing control of myself and one of the benefits of are you okay today you get to sit down you get to finally say to everybody look this is what's really been happening with me and i need people to understand yes as you go through treatment, and I've been in treatment for over 10 years, um, there's going to be massive hiccups. There's going to be times when I'm just not myself at all. And I don't have a lot of communication with a lot of my family members. And even though that we all go through our own shit, which is totally valid, it's like my, feeling, my feelings are valid, just as much as their feelings are val valid. In a way, I don't use my own shit to ask someone, hey, how are you doing? Because in the months that my nan died, I had no one ask me how I'm feeling. And even though that I do live with my mum and um, it was her mum that died, you know, I still felt the pain of her being gone. Um, and I'm gonna cry. The pain of no one asking me how I'm doing because I did whatever I could to make sure that my mum was okay and then having no one asking me how I'm doing you know I had a fit at my brother because he said oh you know it's not your mum it's like yeah so like not a lot of us had a complete you know relationships with her I had a more relationship with, with my nan and a lot of people in our family on our side of the family which it is the truth and when I was going through that all of the month of June, I just felt like that I had no one. And I was upset and it made me 
cry because I had no one and I felt worthless all over again and all the things I've been working on for the first half of 2021 felt like it nearly went down the drain because I worked so hard on myself you know with the inner transformation course with my coach um Rebecca with the eight-week coaching with Steve and Cass you know I've been really working so hard on myself all of that plummeted over the last three months and with everything that happened with July with you know my eating with that choking in incident for 20 for um 48 hours which was really really scary for me I'm still going through the process of you know trying to um get help for that which I am and just the process of not really able to talk to my family because the only person who I talk to most of is my mum. That's the only person that I talk to at home. I do talk more to my um, second brother who does help me. And when I told him after that little spat that I had with him in um, June about how you know no one was really communicating with me, asking how I was feeling, um, I told him everything of how I felt, how I felt alone, how no one's there. And even though he's moving back home within the next week and he's actually driving from Queensland to come home to Adelaide because that's when him and his partner and his beautiful dog Milo are going to have their own little break, which I can totally understand because when it comes home, it's going to be a lot. Trust me. Everything with Nanny, um... Nanny May on their side, what's been happening with them, you know, the trouble with the family communication, which I can completely agree with. We have the worst communication skills in my family, with, which is true. And I am between that point too as well, which I can completely, completely um, admit to. But it's getting to the point where just in the last two weeks, and this is with Father's Day combined, knowing that it's coming, being really depressed for even over a week, I started to notice that I'm losing more myself. You know, I've been doing our um, September challenge within the BTS community. I've been doing that. I have to do yesterday some things that I did, which I will do after what I recorded this video, which will be up in my Instagram stories or in my fitness blog journey that I'm doing on my YouTube channel, which will be out next year. But um, if I don't sit and acknowledge what is going on, I can't fix it. One of the most best Dr. Phil quotes that has always been in my head, you can't change what you don't acknowledge, which is the truth. It's been my mantra for 10 years, which is the truth of it all. And I'm acknowledging as of right now, I have not been myself for two weeks. Over, over a period of three months, I've slowly started to lose myself again. And it's time to get back into that personal development. It's time to get back into, you know, not being afraid to do fitness. And I'm doing a workout around free today, which is mainly going to be a yoga workout because I can't do it because my back has been on the fritz this week and over the past three months too. And I will be taking some leave off of Discord for a while because I have realized that I've been going way too much to what I am doing and I completely acknowledge it I acknowledge it as of right now as we can see I'm acknowledging it and I'm going to do so much more with so much of my mental health that I'm gonna have to slowly be offline now I'm still gonna do these blogs sort of like how I'm doing as of right now to help me I will give you guys an a health book update next week on my YouTube just to see what is really truly going on. I am, I just picked my singing covers for last month, which I'm gonna start organizing at some point today to post, and then the videos over the course of the time that I recorded, you will be getting them very, very, very soon. But again, I'm acknowledging it. I admit that I'm losing myself again, but I'm going to go fix it. 
I have an amazing coach, Rebecca Louise. I have Cass and Steve I can always go and ask for more help with. I have an amazing team that I can always go and chat to, which I know I can always reach out to them. And I do have my mum I can go and talk to about it and so forth. So to end, are you okay? They here in Australia, because I'm going to go and do my own thing. Being able to sit and talk does help when people ask and to reach out to you to see if you're okay. It actually does help. It makes them feel validated. It makes them not to feel worthless anymore or, or to feel sad. It makes them feel better just to release what was always egging into their souls like it does to me all the time so i'm glad that i sit down to do this video it actually makes me feel so much more better by doing stuff like this because it helps me so much more and also to realize that that i do have so many issues that is always in my head that i need to work on and if i do this this is just to screw it into my brain that I have to go and work on this and that is what I'm going to do I'm going to try and stay off the majority of discord I may be in some discords not a lot of discords um, some twitch thing twitch streams depending on the time of day and just really work on myself do my fitness for free to four days a week which will be yoga for the next two months and that's where I'm, I'm gonna leave it so I'm going to ask this question because it's in the spirit of Are You Okay Day here in Australia. Are you okay? Comment down below if you're on my Instagram or on any of my Facebook pages as well to let me know if you are also okay. And um, I'm going to go work on myself. I'll be generally be around, but other than that, Thank you so much for watching this video. And again, are you okay?